Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This time I'm going to unbox the Huawei Y6P. Actually, I'm excited to unbox this phone because I want to see what this phone has to offer for the price of less than 6,000 pesos. I want to see the performance in games like YouTube, Netflix, and other videos as well as multitasking like opening almost all the applications and see the performance. Okay, let's open the box now. By the way, the unit I got is 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal memory. So let's open up. The color I got is emerald green. Tingnan nyo, ang ganda sobra. Other colors available are phantom purple and midnight black. On the right side, we have power button, the volume control. On the top, we have the mic. On the bottom, we have headphone jack, followed by USB-C port. And we also have another mic here and the loudspeaker. On the left side, we have the SIM card tray and also for our SD card. Good thing is, it is for micro SD card. Hindi siya yung nano, unlike the other models. So, ito yun. Ang problem lang, hindi masyado smooth yung tray pagpasok. And at the back, it has a finger scanner here. Or fingerprint sensor. So, here's the phone. What I like about this is the curved side. Ma curving side niya. This one. Ito. And then the fingerprint lock unlocks ring. Very responsive naman siya. Ayan. Nag unlock siya kaagad. So this phone has a size of 6.3 inches with LCD type display and resolution of 1600 by 700 pixels. Operating system is EMUI 10.1 based on Android 10. Sorry guys, this phone has no Google Play but at least we have Huawei App Gallery. Um, marami naman application dito and nag-update naman sila periodically. And I think they're ramping up adding more application here. Especially games. Tsaka, yung mga daily needs natin, may TikTok naman dito. Number one application lately na ginagamit ng tao. And some other. Battery capacity is 5,000 mAh. So, medyo long life to bago mag-empty. Pero, we'll try pa rin. Uh, maximizing using this phone and see how long the battery will last. It has triple main camera at the back. 30 megapixel wide. 5 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel depth while the front camera has 8 megapixel both front and back camera can record video up to 1080p at 30 fps so let's check now the sample pictures
から大門先生またお願いしますね出世の手伝いいたしません群れを嫌い束縛を嫌い専門医のライセンスと叩き上げのスキルだけが So there you go guys When it comes to YouTube, nakita naman natin the, the picture quality is very clear, very nice also on this phone as well as also the Netflix. When it comes to the games, okay naman siya, no lagging as long as you put the game settings into medium or low. Um, I haven't tried the Asphalt game, uh, Mobile Legends pa lang. Pero from that game, okay naman siya at hindi siya nagalag. For performance, the phone is also okay. Medyo overheating lang when playing games but tolerable naman, hindi siya parang na sobrang init so okay naman siya. When it comes to video and picture quality, they're not so bad naman. So this is an all-around budget phone compared to others that I have that which is more than 7,000 pesos but the performance is not so good. I recommend this Huawei phone because this phone is an all-around for gaming, streaming, YouTube, Netflix, also for social media, Facebook, chat, Instagram. But then the only problem is the charging port. It is micro USB port. For the year 2020, almost all the phones released are on USB-C type cable port. So this one is in micro USB charging port. And that's all for now guys. And I hope you enjoyed watching these videos. I will upload more videos next time. Bye.